Our source of inspiration for today's artwork is Paul Clay. Paul Clay did some interesting artwork with words and color. In this piece of artwork, entitled Once Emerged from the Gray of Night, Paul Clay captures a poem in his artwork. Today, we will use words in our artwork. It could be your name, or it could be a favorite saying. Look at this example that I have made using my first and middle name. Notice how the letters repeat. My name repeats, irregardless whether it fits on that line or not. It just keeps wrapping to the next line and the use of color for each letter. I want you to decide on what you would like to write. Do you want to write your name? Do you want to add words that help to describe who you are? Would you like to write a piece of uh, a verse from scripture? This is what I'm going to choose to do today. I'm going to write, the Lord is my strength and my shield. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with your piece of paper. Make sure you have your long side on the top. Fold it over, match up the corners, and make a nice sharp crease with your fingers. Next, you're going to take the top down and meet it to the middle. Make a crease, and then the bottom up to the middle until you have four equal parts on your paper. Next, grab your pencil. We're gonna start with your first word. The first word for me is the word the. So up in the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to write the word the. And all of my words are going to be used with only capital letters. They're going to be each one about the same width, and they will all be the same height. So my T is going from the top all the way to that crease. And then whatever the width is of my T, I want my H to be about the same width. I start the H right next to the T. And then my E will share the same side as that right side of that H. I won't add another line. To add my second word, I need to add a space. Since each letter is about two fingers width, I'm gonna add a two finger width space before I add my L for the word Lord. I'm gonna speed the video up a little bit as I write out these letters. Now, as I get to the word um, strength, it's not gonna fit on my line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it flow over to the next wherever that letter is. So I'll put my two finger space in and I'll start the letter S for strength. And I will continue this on to the next line. Finish all of your words in the same manner until you get to the end of your paper. Once you have it the way you like it, get out a permanent marker and let's go over all of your pencil lines in a black permanent marker. Again, I'm gonna speed this video up. Now take a look at your paper and you might see some pencil lines. Get out your eraser, erase those pencil lines before we start painting. All right, now we are ready to paint. So let's get out our watercolors and we will wake them up. Now before we start painting, you're going to want to, to consider what color of paint you want to use. Now on my first uh, painting, I used all sorts of colors, but on this one, I think I want to try to use only purples, blues, and pinks. You decide what colors you want to use for your painting. I'm going to start with purple. Now I'm going to start my first section. So paint in the whole area wherever it's enclosed down to the crease line. 
And then instead of going over to another color right adjacent to that purple, I'm going to find other places on my paper that I also want to have purple. So I'm not having to wash out my paintbrush so often. So find several more places on your paper, even on that same line, to use that very same color and go through on each line and paint in those areas with the same color uh, before switching to another color. When you're ready for the next color, rinse out your brush real well and then choose your second color and do the same procedure. Find several places on, your, on each line for that second color. Continue in the same way with your third and your fourth colors until you have all the white spaces covered up. Each place has a color. You might have to go back and use a color that you've already used. Um, try not to have two colors that are the very same next to each other. So it might take some thinking to figure out what color to use. Use at least five colors in your artwork. And there you have it, your Paul Clay word art. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Have fun. <laughs>